Now let's finish up with the eyes and the jumpsuit. So the eyes, we've already got assigned the outer and the pupil. And so what we need to do is just assign a material to the inner part of the eye. because we've got those UVs. And so I'll just duplicate one of these materials. And I'm just going to call this eye inner temp. And I'll just change the color slightly. And then let's assign that to the inner part of both of these eyes. All right. I'm going to grab both of these eyes and drag them up into the final geo. Get rid of these groups. And the jumpsuit, remember we used polygroup it to kind of uh, get rid of the inside of it. And so the UVs that we got will totally work. You can, you could paint this right now, but I'm going to clean it up a little bit. So it's a little bit more human readable and, uh, and just kind of attach some things, detach some things. So I'm going to go in first and detach the arms. So I'm going to start by going under the armpit and then connecting that up with that hole there. And let's hit cut. And then I'll do the same thing on the other side. So right under the arm, up into that hole. And we'll cut that. I'm going to grab those pieces and kind of move them off. All right. I'm also going to make a cut across the belly. So let's, uh, let's actually isolate this so we can just see all the geometry there. I'm going to look at this and see where it's going to go. And so that goes all the way around. And if we take a look, so you can see where it comes out underneath there. So I'm going to actually pick this one and then let's see if we can pick one right above that. So I'm just looking to see if I can see it under the coming peeking out of there and I can't. So I'm going to go ahead and cut there. That gives us this upper part and the lower part. Now this leg part actually goes on the other side. And so I'm going to cut this off as well. So I'll just select those edges. Do a cut. And then let's go to edges and just pop it over to that side. We'll do an unfold and then we can clean up any edges that still need to be attached. Just sew those together. Like so. Another unfold. Now the arms themselves, I'm going to move right now. You can see there's a seam that kind of comes down here. Substance painter can handle that, but I'm going to actually move the seam to the inside of the arm. So by clicking there, you can see that's the inside of the arm. We'll cut that and then we'll come over and attach the other side. So we'll pop it right over again, unfold, kind of reshuffle and see what we're working with. And then we can kind of clean everything up here. So any of these things that still need to be sewed kind of all the way down to here. And again, I'll optimize after, after I do a few of those just to kind of clean it up. And your UVs don't have to be the same at all. The beauty of creating our textures with painter is that we don't have to match between you and I, we don't have to match our uh, UVs. They don't have to be exactly the same because painter will take care of all of that. So I need to do the same thing on the other arm. So I'll come in here and just pick a line that's kind of in the inside of the arm. It's kind of hidden a little bit more. Do a cut. And then again, come in here and stitch those together. Unfold that. And then we've got all of these edges that we need to sew. And up here. Unfold. Grab all of these. All right, so that gives us our arms. Now this part, let's go ahead. I'm going to just delete the history and kind of clean it up a little bit. And then isolate it. Okay, so now we've got this sort of chest part. This is going to be up at the top. This is the, the chest here. Could take this and sew that together around the back. It's temporarily because then we can cut it down the directly down the back. 
that actually comes out pretty clean. Let's see where these go. So those are going to go down the back. So we can grab this one, stitch that together. Let's connect up this piece. We can cut this in a minute, but we'll go ahead and connect that. And then this with, there we go. This with this. Let's go ahead and unfold that. All right. And then we're just cleaning things up here. Sew that together. Sew that together. Sew those together. And then down here on the legs, see that's sort of the front. You can decide how you want to connect those, but I do want to look at this weird seam right here. So instead of having that seam, I'm going to cut it down the middle. So right there, let's deselect that everywhere else. So I don't want to cut it on any of the other pieces. And then we'll grab that and move it over here. Grab those edges and sew them together. And then I want to reattach it back to on the front there or on the side. Like that and like this. Unfold. And now I just want to make sure that all of our pieces here are the same sized, same textile density. And they look pretty good right now. So now all I have to do is either lay them out manually or you can do an initial layout. Okay. There's a couple of, any time you see the white in there on the inside, you can sew that together. And I think that we can make these a little bit bigger. I think there's going to be room for that. So now you just have to arrange them. And again, yours don't have to be just like mine. But I just wanted to uh, clean them up a little bit. Bring the arm down here. And now we want to assign this to a material. Go ahead and un isolate. And so I'm going to take another copy of this. Let's change the name. I'm just going to call this jump. And I'm just going to change the color a little bit. And let's actually assign that. Okay. So in the beginning of this course, what we've done is we've taken our high resolution sculpted geometry in ZBrush, which we couldn't really do much with. We were able to get a decimated mesh out so that we can use that for some uh, map baking later and retopology. And in this particular course, we used what we could, we reused what we could and made some new geometry to create some higher resolution geometry that we could use to make a final render in Arnold. Now, before we did that, we have to be able to create textures for it. So we needed to create UVs and separate everything out for Substance Painter. Substance Painter wants to have the things that you want to paint, they need to have UVs and they also need to have uh, material assignments based on the, the separation that you want to have. So for instance, all the wood or all the body parts on one map or on multiple maps that are together. And so we, what we've got now is a mesh that is prepared to go out to Substance Painter. So all we have to do then is we can call this our bird creature. And then all we have to do is go in and export selection. We can export it as an FBX and it should be ready to go. So if you want to continue on creating the texture and then finally rendering it in Arnold, I'd encourage you to check out the next course where we'll actually do that. We'll take all the geometry model like this and we'll take it into Substance Painter. We'll create, set up all the materials and all the, the textures and, and look at some neat ways that we can create that inside of Substance Painter. And then we'll actually bring it back here to Maya to render in Arnold to create a nice final image. 
Now, if you're following along with the parallel track with this and creating the game geometry, uh, that geometry is going to be uh, really optimized, and we're going to be creating that from scratch using some retopology techniques and that decimated mesh that we talked about earlier. And then finally, we will paint that in Substance Painter. And the end result for that one is to take it into a real-time game engine like Unity to see that versus the render. So this is just one more step in our journey to create our final rendered creature. So I'm thankful that you followed along with us and hopefully we'll see you in the next course.